the freedom of the Seas Orchestra. Yeah. <laughs> Gentlemen, and welcome to the Arcadia Theatre for tonight's featured production showtime. And now, please welcome to the stage your host, your cruise director, Patricio. And a great evening to all of you, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome. Welcome here to the Arcadia Theatre for our welcome aboard show. And actually, as it is only the first evening here on board, welcome on board the Freedom of the Seas. Ladies and gentlemen, I've got one question for you, and that question is, who's ready for an amazing cruise? Yeah, whoa! Now that's pretty good right there, but I just want to go ahead and quickly put something into perspective for you. You are on a cruise, and what that means, ladies and gents, is that over the course of the next several days, you don't have to cook! Yeah! yeah. You can just pick right off the menu, go to the buffet, pick right off the buffet line. There you go. Why not? How about this? Over the course of the next several days, you don't have to clean your room. I heard a lot more adults on that reaction. I was expecting more kids and teens. What's going on, adults? What's going on? We're not cleaning our room. What's going on? All right, whatever. Here we go. This next one is for kids, teens, adults. It's for everybody in the house. Over the course of the next several days, you don't have to go to school and you don't have to go to work. Ah, uh, I got your attention now, don't I? So on that note, one more time, who's ready for an amazing cruise? Yeah! yeah. All right, there we go. Keep that excitement, keep that energy level. That's going to set the tone for your entire cruise. I guarantee you that. Now, before I do go any further, in case I've not had the opportunity to meet you so far this cruise, my name is Patricio, as the voice in the sky just said a few moments ago, and I have the pleasure of serving as your cruise director here on board. And basically what that means is that together with a wonderful group of talented individuals, some of which you just saw on stage, by the way, with the Freedom of the Seas Orchestra and the technical team running the show, we've got activity staff, sports staff, youth staff, ice skaters, production singers and dancers, guest entertainers, musicians, technical team, and and more, we are all directly responsible for providing you all an unforgettable entertainment experience while you are here on the Freedom of the Seas. This, for example, the theater, you can consider the theater to be the entertainment hub here on the Freedom of the Seas, where every single evening we're going to be having a different show for you, because that's something that we really want to offer you, is not just quality of entertainment, but variety of entertainment as well, yeah? We also have a very robust live music program available for you. We've got a dedicated Caribbean band, we've got a rock band, we've got our uh, a wonderful Freedom of the Seas Orchestra as well, a dedicated piano bar entertainer. We've got a guitarist on board as well, a resident DJ, a celebrity scratch DJ as well. So by a round of applause, who wants to do some dancing this cruise? Yeah? You're going to get a chance to do that. How about this by a round of applause? Who wants to party this cruise? Hey, well, I'm sorry to tell you we have no parties here. We don't party here on the Freedom of the Seas. No, 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 just kidding, folks. We have a lot of parties coming your way. Our 70s Disco Inferno Street Party, our Latin Fiesta that's coming your way as well. And we're also going to be having our Caribbean Party here on board, Dancing Under the Stars, Caribbean Party upstairs poolside during our Caribbean night. That one night where you get an opportunity to go ahead and choose and wear your uh, Caribbean attire shirts or our tropical shirts or anything like that. But actually, here to speak to our uh, activities offering and program a little bit more, Please help me welcome to the stage your activities manager, Jerry. Yeah. All right. Well, good evening, everybody. Welcome once again to the Arcadia Theater. As Patricio mentioned, I'm Jerry. I have the pleasure of being your activities manager here on board. I come to you from a little place in the Pacific coast of Mexico called Acapulco. Have you heard of it? Yeah. Maybe in the news, right? Maybe in the news. Anyway, so my responsibility here, along with Patrice, is making sure they have a lot of fun every single day. So with that one question I have for you is, who is ready to have some fun? Oh, that is great. That is great. Because we have a great team over here and we have an amazing lineup of activities, daytime activities, nighttime activities, starting since early in the morning till up till late at night. Also, when we import, also activities keep on running. Now, for all the sports people, up on deck number 13 and 14, we got the Flow Rider, we got the Rock Climbing Wall, and of course, a whole variety of different tournaments in our sports court. Now, anybody plays bingo here? 
just just the front row excellent well we have a bingo here on board and we're gonna have tomorrow the first session of bingo going upstairs in star lunch which is, which is basically the house of bingo and also later on the cruise on day number five we're gonna have something that we call the winner cruise bingo in which you can take a cruise seven days for two people that must go so make sure that you check that out also for all the people traveling with, with kids and a uh, with our teenagers, we have an award-winning program called Adventure Ocean happening on deck number 12, so make sure that you sign them up for that. Now, game shows, activities, uh, like trivia, game shows, as the quest, we got the Bell of Love competition, tomorrow the World Sexiest Man competition at least goes on and on and on. Now, for that, it's really important that you carry always with you your cruise compass, which basically is our guide to entertainment. Everything that is happening on board the Freedom of the Seas will be advertised over there. Ladies and gentlemen, I really hope you enjoy entertainment. Please join us, and once again, welcome on board the Freedom of the Seas. See you on the ship, everyone. All right, that charming gentleman right there is Jerry. He is your activities manager here on board. As he mentioned, plenty of activities coming your way. And the Cruise Compass, which is your daily program, is a great way to keep track of all those activities. It's delivered to your stateroom every evening. If you don't want to sift through all that text throughout your cruise, no problem. Every morning, Channel 14 Morning Show, we're going to bring that Cruise Compass to life and walk you through the main highlights and events uh, of the day, allowing you to really cap capitalize on your time on board and ashore, yeah? Anyways, you've gotten to know us quite a bit. I'm interested to get to know you all a little bit more now by a round of applause do we have anybody out there who's celebrating a birthday this cruise a few people out there celebrating a birthday very good well happy birthday to you how about this it's all community it's all family from now on until the next seven days so how about this on the count of three we're all gonna yell happy birthday nice and loud to everybody celebrating a birthday here we go one two three happy there you go very good to everybody celebrating a birthday by a round of applause do we have anybody celebrating a honeymoon this cruise a few people out there, happy honeymoon. Do we have anybody celebrating an anniversary? Yeah. Happy anniversary. Do we have anybody celebrating a divorce? Yeah. And that's why, that's why I ask. Whatever, anyways. How about, how about this, man? A round of applause. Do we have anybody out there who this is your first cruise ever in your life? Let me hear you. First cruise ever, very good. All right, well, welcome to the uh, cruising world. Thank you very much for choosing Royal Caribbean to be your first cruise vacation experience. And again, welcome to the cruising world. I think you will be able to tell from the reaction at these next two callbacks that you've made a good choice by deciding to go on a cruise. So how about this? By a round of applause, do we have anybody out there who you have cruised before, but this is your first cruise with Royal Caribbean? Make some noise. A few people out there, very good. Well, thank you very much for giving us a chance, and welcome to the Royal Caribbean family. And speaking of the Royal Caribbean family, do we have anybody out there from the Crown and Anchor Society? Yeah. Yeah. The Crown and Anchor Society, the loudest cheer, no coincidence why, of course. Ladies and gents, just to let you know, that last group of people, the Crown and Anchor Society, that's uh, the Royal Caribbean Loyalty Society, what they affectionately like to call themselves the frequent floaters, so to speak, yeah? I recommend you get to know them because they know the ins and outs and all abouts of cruising with Royal Caribbean. Maybe they've been to the ports that we're going to. Maybe they've been on the freedom of the seas before. Always very friendly and approachable people willing to offer you any kinds of tips to really maximize on your time here on the freedom of the seas, yeah? That's our Crown and Anchor Society. Welcome back. Thank you very much for cruising with us. Um, how about this, ladies and gents, just to let you know, you've also chosen a cruise that has just over 575 or something like that, kids and teens cruising with us this cruise. And I've got a big appreciation for the fact that uh, kids and teens, maybe you've been bottled up inside of an airplane to catch the freedom of the seas, but now you're finally here. So it's time to go ahead and stretch your legs and really get that bottled up energy out there. So this is what we're going to do. I'm speaking to all the kids and all the teens out there. You've got my permission on the count of three we're gonna yell at the top of our lungs and release all that bottled up energy adults i'm sorry i know you might hate me for this but here we go it's for the kids it's for the kids it's for the kids and all the teens on the count of three yell as loud as you can one two three and that's about all we want to hear from you for the rest of the cruise no i'm just kidding i'm just kidding i'm not kidding no, I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Anyways, whatever, ladies and gents, the reason I bring this up is I'm um, speaking to all the parents and all the guardians out there. We have our dedicated Adventure Ocean multi-award winning program available for you. There's separate age groups available for the kids. There's a teen uh, dedicated fuel, teen disco hangout lounge, a great program available for your kids and for the teens here on board. Once again, that's our multi-award winning Adventure Ocean youth program, yeah? I do also wanna go ahead and let you know, by the way, you've chosen a cruise that has just over 39 different nationalities amongst our guests, so it's gonna be quite a cultural experience, I guarantee you that. I'm interested to know, by the way, do we have anybody out there who's joining us from a place where it's cold back home right now? Oh, how happy are you, are you to be here in the Caribbean? Get ready for some great weather, by the way. Do we have anybody joining us all the way from up north? Canada? Anybody from Canada? 
Yeah, our Canadian guests, welcome on board. How about from across the pond? Do we have anybody joining us from Europe or the UK? Europe, UK? UK or Europe? UK, UK, UK? I'm okay, you okay? We're all okay, whatever. We're on a cruise. Uh, let's head on over to the other side. Do we have anybody joining us all the way from Australia? A few people, okay, very good, there you go, welcome. Let's just keep it nation sh nationwide, shall we? How about this, do we have anybody joining us from the West Coast, maybe California, Washington, or Oregon? A few people, do we have anybody from the Midwest? Whoa! Do we have anybody from Texas? Do we have anybody from Florida? Do we have anybody here joining us all the way from the Northeast? Whoa! <laughs> Well, all right, very good. I don't have time to go through every single one of the states of the region, so how about this? On the count of three, just yell nice and loud where you're from. One, two, three. I didn't understand anything. I don't even know why I asked. That guy right there seems like he's sponsored by the drink of the day. Very good, okay. <laughs> well, folks, I don't, it doesn't matter where you're from or what your occasion is for being here. My point is that you're all here with the same purpose, and that is to have an amazing cruise. Is that right? Yes, you've been waiting for it, you've been saving for it, you've been earning for it, you've been waiting for it. You're finally here. Sit back, relax, let us take care of you, let us pamper you while you are here on the Freedom of the Seas. We're excited to have you here. One final thing, if you'll just excuse me for one quick moment while I welcome our non-English speaking guests. Eh, buenas noches, damas y caballeros. Tenemos alguien ahí de ese lindo público de habla hispana. Oh, oh, se despertaron ahora. Muy bien, bueno, bienvenidos a bordo del Freedom of the Seas. Mi nombre es Patricio. Yo tengo el gusto de servir como su director de crucero aquí a bordo. Y me interesa mucho saber de dónde son ustedes, damas y caballeros. ¿De dónde nos acompañan? ¿De qué país son? ¿De dónde son? México, lindo y querido. ¿De dónde más? ¿De dónde más? De Puerto Rico, de Chile. ¿De dónde, ¿De dónde más? Griten, griten, griten su país. Puerto Rico, de Costa Rica. ¿De dónde más? Miami. Miami no cuenta. ¿Quién dijo Miami? Miami? Miami doesn't count. Bueno, en fin, Argentina. Eso, muy bien. Bueno, bienvenidos a bordo a todos nuestros huéspedes de habla hispana. Es un gusto tenerlos aquí nuevamente. Mi nombre es Patricio, soy director de crucero. Consulten el canal 38 todas las mañanas entre la medianoche y el mediodía. Junto con su gerente de actividades, Jerry y yo, repasaremos todas las cosas principales de su día, ¿sí? All right, here we go. Press one, back for English, right? right. <laughs> Sorry, we have no uh, subtitles on the side screens. I was just saying a nice, long, extended version of Yo quiero Taco Bell, pretty much. That's all I was saying. <laughs> Anyways, whatever, ladies and gents, you've not come here to see me jibber jabber. You've come here to see a great show, is that right? Yes, now here we go, our guest entertainers that we've got for you here this evening. They're joining us on the beautiful nation of Hungary, ladies and gents. Wonderful guest entertainers. You will be really enjoying their talent. So please put your hands together for Peter and Ildiko. Enjoy. They're not around. What do you mean they're not around? What do you mean they're... How do we not... How did we not see that they weren't here before the show started? We got to have a show. We got to... They got to... Is this microphone on? Can they hear me right now? Yeah. Oh. So who's going to do the show? Yo sé se terminó nuestro amor divino mis amigos les declaré les diré que estoy seguro que es un hombre sin nada más sin un señor con lágrimas debe decir debe gritar debe sentir en la verdad no llega Shut 
Put your hands together for our wonderful guest entertainers, ladies and gentlemen. Those right there are Peter and Ildiko. All the way from Budapest in Hungary. That's nice, eh? I like that little bit right there. Hey, lady, call him. Call him. Call him. <laughs> Did you enjoy that? Would you like to see some more of Peter and Ildiko this cruise, by the way? All right, all right, we'll let you know, we'll let you know. All right, here we go. We're going to go ahead and continue, ladies and gents. Our following uh, guest entertainer, our performer, our artist, our stand-up comedian that we've got for you here tonight. He is truly, and I mean it, he is a Royal Caribbean favorite. Several TV appearances of which you might recognize him from. For example, The Tonight Show with Jay Leno. Anybody heard of that show right there? Of course you have, not only that, but NBC's last comic standing, and tonight you've got him live on stage. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a pleasure to introduce to you the one and only Kiwi Rogers! Thank you, brother. Uh, give it up one more time for Pistachio. It's our cruise director, Pat Patricio. And give it up for Peter and Dico. Let him hear it one more time, ladies and gentlemen. That's enough. So here we are, the first, oh boy, we got a, hey, how are you? You're lucky this is not a late night show. This would be so much fun. <laughs> how you guys doing? You doing all right? Yeah. Wow, this is cool, man. This is everybody. I thought it was more people I saw get on the ship. <laughs> Could have did this over the phone. <laughs> we got nobody here. <laughs> Everybody's up there eating. And I, hey, don't take that buffet as a, that all you can eat as a dare, okay? Some people do that. Free, hey, the gym is up there. We got a gym on the ship. Start working out today, and then you can, you'll be all right by the end of the ship. Otherwise, the end of the ship, you're going to, that's all you're going to be. Big old giant thing, man. And yeah, this is cool, man. We're going to um, some islands. Hey, this is all a blur to me. I'm, it's the same thing. I do this so often, I don't even know where I am half the time. I'm just happy we're not going to, uh, what is it, uh, Nassau. Only reason you need to go there is to get your hair braided. <laughs> That's it. You get off the ship, first thing, braid your hair. You want your hair braided? Come, let me braid your hair. And they don't care what you look like. <laughs> they don't. Lady asked me if I wanted my hair braided. I was like, lady, the only hair I got left is growing on a crack of my butt. <laughs> she went, five dollars. <laughs> and I was like, okay. <laughs> but it's hot, and I've been walking all day. <laughs> oh, and they do a great job, too, trust me. <laughs> it's still tight. <laughs> I'm serious, man. That's why I stay on the ship. I don't want to be bothered out there. First time, who's first time cruisers on this ship? Erica, you like the, you like the ship? So far, so good? Somebody went, no. See, that's a positive person right there. I like those people right there. I like the kids, man. Kids get in that cabin, they say, wow, this cabin is gigantic. <laughs> you guys go in the cabin and go, man, this is brochure size. Thank bathroom, man. The showers are the cutest things in the world. Don't you like that little half door? That's about it, man. Pow! That's all it opens. Then you walk around the ship and see some of the people, and you go, not everybody's going to fit in that shower this week. <laughs> no, that is not built for everybody. You ever heard of taking a half-ass shower? Oh, that's where that term came from. <laughs> so I saw a guy had to be 700 pounds one time. I'm like, where the heck is he going to shower at? Because he ain't fitting at there. If you stuff him in that shower, that'd be like a giant can of biscuits. <laughs> you see his wife going there, honey, are you done yet? Pow! <laughs> Ridiculous, man. And if you haven't flushed that toilet, be careful. It's going to scare the crap out of you. That thing's ridiculous. <laughs> like it's mad at you, man. <laughs> and your stuff is gone before you got a chance to turn around and see how you did. <laughs> I'm 
hilarious. It's ridiculous. And trust, never sit down and push the button either, people. I did that one time, hit the button, and my face went, mm -mm -mm. And that ain't funny. I'm a girl now. Yeah. And I got to get my hair rebraided. Tell you, it's ridiculous. I'll try to have you some fun on this. I see people in here already tired. Look at you, already tired. You got your green shirts on. You said, I didn't had too much to eat today already. Now you're making me sit in this auditorium. I'm going to just doze off if you don't mind. Wake it on up, man. This is party time. That's right. That's right. This is part. What, what's going on with the light? Who's working the lights up there? Stevie Wonder? <laughs> you see, that just got dark. And he's Stevie up there going, Do I have him now? <laughs> I need the light, man. Been having some fun, too, man. We got any veterans in here? Military? Right on, man. Right on, man. I just did my 33rd USO tour for our troops overseas. That's right. I'm truly proud of that. That's right. Had me a good time over there. Got back and enjoy. I'm just trying to enjoy things. I just tried Ancestry.com. I'm a baller. Anybody ever tried that? Any? Somebody up there obviously think they're a comedian. <laughs> Nobody's ever tried it, huh? It was pretty impressive, man. I typed in my name. It tracked my family history all the way back to my daddy. And, um... <laughs> and boy, was he pissed. <laughs> See, there, you guys are laughing at that because you think I don't know my daddy. But that ain't true. I met him. But, um... No, I come from a nice family, right? A big family, though. Six boys and one girl. That's right. That used to be the thing back in the day, big families, right? But I tell you this, the only thing that really sucks when you come from a large family is when you're the least attractive one. That was my sister. <laughs> I know, she had a mustache. <laughs> I called her Mr. Sister. Yeah, she called me adopted. So I'd start crying, my mother would jump in, boy, stop crying, I never signed those papers evil family, man. And I thought I was adopted because out of all the kids, I'm the only one with the unusual name, right? You got Paul, Rick, Larry, the twins, Deidre and Dedrick, Corey, and Kiwi. That's my name, Kiwi, K-I-V-I. -I. People think it's an African name. <laughs> I'm like, really? Go to Africa looking for Kiwi. <laughs> you see a guy jump up, no, he is not here. No. See, actually, Kiwi, Kiwi is a Finnish name. Finnish, not like done. <laughs> it's from Finland, right? And I know what you're thinking, too. Another real popular spot for the brothers. It just means rock. Now, rock is a cool name. If your name is rock, you got a right to raise one eyebrow when you say your name. Somebody knows what I'm talking about. Right? Somebody come up to you, hey, what's your name? You're like, my name is Rock. <laughs> that is cool, man. You can't do that with Kiwi. <laughs> right? Kiwi is two eyebrows. <laughs> People come up, hey, what's your name? Kiwi. What's your name? You want to go outside and play with me? <laughs> right, because it sounds like a little kid's nickname, don't it? I know, I like it though, because it's different. Right, and if there's one thing some of my people know how to do, it's name their kids something different. I don't get it. It's like we look at the periodic table of the elements and just start putting stuff together. I ain't lying. I met a brother one day. I said, hey man, what's your name? He went, germanium. I'm like, really, germanium? <laughs> what does that mean? I don't know, but it's a complex compound. 
Like, why? What's your name? Kiwi. <laughs> you want to go outside and play with me? <laughs> sure, I had to break that stereotype, man. I named my son Skylar Pierce. That's right. And my buddy comes up to me and says, man, why'd you name him such a white name? I'm like, because I want him to get a job. That's right, because Skylar Pierce Rogers cleans up in banking. <laughs> Germanium cleans up the bank. <laughs> That's right. You know I ain't lying. There's a lot to a name. I named my daughter Chanel. That's a cute name, right? Yeah, but she's a teenager now, so guess what she wants? Freaking Chanel. If I have another kid, I'm naming him TJ Maxx. <laughs> Ross. <laughs> That's right. Or a nice Russian name like Knockoff. She's trying to break me, man. And they have no concept of how much things cost. If you brought your kids on this cruise, why? They're not going to appreciate this when they get older. I know they don't appreciate it. You think about it when we were kids, right? Things were cheap. We didn't get nothing, and we appreciated it. That's how it was. My son's nine. Asked me for an iPhone. Like it was nothing. I was like, Dad, you think I get an iPhone? I'm like, dude, you know what I got when I was nine? Freaking marbles. We're going to start you out with some jacks. That's right, and if you're good, I'll get you the ball. iPhone, and I would get him anything, because when you grow up with nothing, you tend to overdo it when you get kids. I'm running out buying things, bringing it back, and he's like, thanks, Dad, what's next? Man, I need to slow down, right? Because I don't shop. I hate shopping. Infomercials are my biggest weakness. Yeah, I know I got some infomercial men in here. I'm a comic. I get home late at night. And I tell you, there's something about 2 in the morning that makes that stuff seem reasonable. <laughs> Serious. Watch those same commercials at 10 in the morning. You're like, look at this crap. But not 2. After a couple of drinks, you're like, you know what? I can use some of them hair extensions. Right? Because they know your brain ain't working. That's why they sell dumb stuff. Ladies neck cream. Have you seen that commercial? It says, don't let your neck tell your age. I'm like, really? But it's okay if your face screams it. <laughs> Is there any man in here who's ever been attracted to a woman because she had a nice neck? I've never seen a man go, baby, you got one fine looking neck. Oh, yeah, I'm going to hit that. <laughs> or ladies, a guy shows up at your house unannounced. What do you do? Oh, damn, where's my neck crane? Girl, I can't let him see my neck like this. That is ridiculous, right? If the first thing a man sees is a pretty face, I can guarantee you the second thing ain't going to be your neck. <laughs> Heck no, the second thing comes in pairs. That's right. And you got to wonder, how bad does a woman's neck have to look for it to be a deal breaker to a man? That's got to be one jacked up neck, man. <laughs> like a neck with no head on it. That's right. And you know what's messed up? That won't necessarily stop him either, would it? You see him looking around. Well, at least you won't be telling nobody about it. Because we are sick like that. That's right, man. Ladies, if your man buys you some neck cream, <laughs> tell him to rub it on his rollers. But anyway. <laughs> you didn't get that joke, did you? Perfect. This, you, your parents? Oh, that's cool. You brought your son on the cruise? How old are you, dude? 20. You got a job? Part-time. You going to pay them back for this cruise? Are you going to pay him back? Someday, yeah. You're never going to see that money again, right? That's right. You so look 20 years old and being brought on a cruise with your parents. What's wrong with you, man? Where's your girlfriend? You got a girlfriend? Used to? Yeah. Don't, make, don't try to make a love connection on this ship because this is not Vegas. Yeah, what happens on Royal Caribbean gets videotaped, people. <laughs> got to be careful on these ships, man. <laughs> 
And why? Be worldly, man. Where are you guys from? New York? All right. Oh, that explains all the yapping over there. <laughs> See, we got people from everywhere. We got a great country in the United States. I heard it loud as over here. We used to be loud and boisterous with that. What happened to us, people? People like, oh, no, we kind of have a good country. It's kind of okay. What has happened, man? We used to have so much fun. If you're under 30, you missed out on all the fun, brother. I'm serious. We used to laugh at everything. You can't laugh at nothing now. Everywhere you go, it's like, shh, you can't say that. It's serious. Shh, it's serious. Damn. I'll tell you this. I've been saying this for over 16 years. Political correctness messed this country up, people. Absolutely did. Right? If you're a good person, you don't need to be politically correct. But if you're a jackass, being politically correct won't make you a horsey. <laughs> and if you didn't get it, I'm not explaining it either. I cannot stand political correctness. I remember when I was black. <laughs> That's right. Now I'm African American. <laughs> I don't know a damn thing about Africa. How the dudes are here? What part of Africa are you from? And I'm like, Tallahassee. <laughs> Come on, man. Obama's African American. You don't get more African American than that because his daddy's from Africa, mother's white from America. That's African American. <laughs> That's right. But they called him the first black president. That drove me crazy, man, because white mama got no credit. <laughs> Serious. Man, if I was him, I'd have a duck following me around everywhere I went. And every time somebody said the first black president, the duck would jump out and go, half black. <laughs> yeah, and I don't care what your politics are. That's a funny joke right there, brother. <laughs> yeah, and I got to give my son the credit for that one. I was watching this documentary with what, Morgan Freeman, and Morgan Freeman said, he's not the first black president, he's actually half white and half black. My son thought he said he was Aflac. <laughs> he did, he said, Daddy, why'd he call him Aflac? I said, no, man, he said he was half black. That's a funny joke right there, dude. <laughs> that is some nice work, man. Here's your iPhone. <laughs> oh, man, we can't have no fun in this country anymore. Used to be able to laugh at everything. They try to make us all the same. That drives me crazy. Look at the diversity. We got black, white, Asian, Latino, other. <laughs> People going, we're all the same. We're all the same. Really, we are. <laughs> that means you mean it. When you go, <laughs> <laughs> right? Because it wouldn't work. Oh, and hey, man, we're all the same. He'd go, yeah, right. <laughs> But you put your heart into it and say, we're all the same. Really, we are. And it sucks you in. You're like, yeah. And we're not. You guys are white. I'm black. I don't want to look like you. <laughs> Nothing wrong with you. I like white people. I have a white friend. <laughs> hey, now you see how stupid that sound, huh? <laughs> Yeah, see, people say that stuff and don't even realize how ridiculous it is. I'm cool, I've got a black friend. I'm like, what do you want, a cookie? <laughs> how come we can't just be people? What's wrong with us now, man? That's right. Ooh, enjoy this stuff, because when the aliens come, we all gonna be helping each other then. <laughs> That's why I said enjoy the differences, man. We can't do stereotypes, and I love stereotypes. Just the funny stuff, not stuff where you're trying to hurt somebody. You got to be able to laugh things off. We got enough to cry about in this world right now, right? No, nobody wants to have fun. They try to take laughter away. What's wrong with us? Get out of this, man. These are jokes. It's not real. Real is what you just left. This is fantasy all right now this week, okay? So have some fun. Enjoy yourselves. I'm going to talk about a little bit of everybody. Because laughter is important. If you don't laugh, you get butt problems. <laughs> That's right. And I'm not talking about no itchy butt. That's just dirty. <laughs> I'm talking about real problems where you got to go buy some ointment. 
Mm -hmm. And you know you're getting old when you add an ointment to the grocery list. <laughs> Gotta go and soothe it on. <laughs> and you walk around look like you're chewing on gum. <laughs> Woo, slippery. <laughs> and if you can't do that, go to Taco Bell. That'll loosen you right up, won't it? That's right, I don't know why they call it Taco Bell. They should call it Snack and Shih Tzu. Because everybody in here knows you can eat a Taco Bell burrito there, get home, and there it is. <laughs> Didn't even know you could speak Spanish. <laughs> you on the toilet, no quiero Taco Bell. Ay, Dios mío. It's too spicy. Then you got to go buy some asper cream. Yeah, only to find out that's not for your ass at all. <laughs> and it's burning again. That's why I say learn to relax. You're going to have a lot of shows. Don't come up here and be one of those people with their arms folded. You see that all the time. Arms folded, butt so tight, anytime they find something slightly amusing, all you hear is... <laughs> Are you kidding me? Here's your sphincter muscle right there. All you got to do... Let it breathe. You don't want no butt bubble. That's uptight people. That's not funny. Ooh. I need some ointment. Don't laugh it off, man. We're not the same. Enjoy the differences. I like stereotypes. I like, right, black people have big lips. Remember that one? And we don't. We have tiny faces. Yeah, we have lips. We got a butt, too. It's a package. <laughs> What's funny is now everybody wants lips and a booty. Ain't that something? They came out with a video called Brazilian Booty, where you can dance and get a bubble butt. No, you can't. I tell you, if you're born with a pancake ass, you can dance until the cows come home. It's not turning into a souffle. You're just going to end up with a rock-hard Pop-Tart. And that's not a booty, it's a tasty treat. <laughs> big lips. Big lips are funny. There are people in here with no lips at all. That's hilarious. Looked like you were born with a solid piece of meat right there. The doctor said, he can't breathe, cut him. <laughs> Let me show you something. <laughs> When you kiss, don't you want to feel cush? Heck yeah, you don't want to be bumping teeth. How is that fun? Give me some sugar. <laughs> yeah, that's my last set, Martha. <laughs> Gotta learn to laugh. Laugh that stuff off, man. It, ain't, it don't mean nothing. We don't need that kind of stress in life, man. Be able to laugh little silly stuff off, because stress is bad, right? Is stress bad? Yes, it is. I had to learn the hard way. Seven years ago, I had a heart attack. I know, I was just as surprised as you. <laughs> but I lucked out. They sent me to a hospital called Kaiser Experimente. <laughs> That's right. You know you're in trouble when you go to a hospital's emergency room and they call 911. <laughs> right, and I'm laying up there with this annoying cardiologist, right? He kept walking in. You are so lucky to survive a heart attack. You don't know. I'm like, man, didn't I just talk to you at Dell Technical Support? <laughs> they told me to reboot my hard drive. <laughs> and the doctor said, that was you? <laughs> yeah, but see, that was one of those situations, and every one of you have done this, right? Everybody in here has done this. We put our lives in the hands of a doctor every single day without realizing not all of them got A's that's something you see a degree on the wall and you feel safe when you should be saying hey let me see your report card <laughs> the heck is this D in cutting <laughs> should see it gave me a whole new perspective on life I crack them when I hear people say I want to live forever because I don't I just want to live I want to know what it's like to get old and break a hip that's right be out my own backyard just lost
That's like being on vacation without leaving the house. <laughs> hey guys, how cool would it be to be making love to the woman you've been with your entire life and you're like, shh, be quiet. I think my wife's coming. <laughs> okay, we got people reluctant to laugh at that one. Because they think I'm dogging old people out, but I'm not. You know why? Because they've had the ability to get old. Yeah, how many people you know that checked out young? That ain't for me, brother. When I die, I want to look like crap. I want people walking up and going, damn. Oh, man, he has used that vessel to the max. Because this goes by way too fast. 20, 21's coming. And that's when it's going to start doing it. We didn't believe it. We all of our parents say, wait till you hit 21, the years are going to start clicking. And we were like, yeah, all right. Damn, I'm 50. And next thing you know, you're standing in front of an escalator trying to time it. <laughs> right? You've all seen that old man doing that right there, right? <laughs> right? Because your mind is going, go. Your body's like, no. Dag, nap it. <laughs> Enjoy the ride. <laughs> Because everything's changing these days, man. Everything is changing. Everything's going fast. You got a lot of people on here with the kids. Please just be parents to your kids. If you parent, they turn out all right. Because we grew up in a different time, man. Now pharmaceutical companies are raising kids. What happened to just say no to drugs? They found out it's profitable. Every time you look up, doc, my kid's doing this. <laughs> What's the doctor do? Here, give him this pill. <laughs> Next time you see that kid, he's like, I'm going to kill somebody. <laughs> they have ADD now, attention deficit disorder. They take a pill. We had ADD too. What was the cure? An ass whooping, wasn't it? <laughs> That's right. We'd act a fool and we'd like, nah, 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 pow. <laughs> I'm back. <laughs> oh, you wanted me to take a bath? I'm going to do that right now, mommy. Because ADD stood for ass done did it. <laughs> and I'm just talking a normal butt whooping. In fact, don't whoop them if you don't need to. But over giving them pills? Are you kidding me? And then you wonder, I don't know who they are anymore. But I bet you Pfizer does. <laughs> That's right, man. We got whoopings back in the day with wooden spoons. Wooden spoons. I'm talking about the giant ones they used to have on, hanging on the wall with a giant fork. The switch, remember the switch? That you had to go get yourself? How did they talk us into that? Go get me something to whoop your butt wet. I'll be right back. <laughs> and you knew a switch was gonna hurt because they stripped the leaves and all you heard was Whoosh! Right, and if, they, if, they, if you're cutting air, guess what's next? Your butt's next. And belts did not work with, with six boys. My mother used an extension cord. I know, and guess what? No 800 number to call back then. Like, even if it was, you'd be dead before you finished dialing it. Right, because we had a rotary phone. <laughs> Ain't no speed dialing a rotary. You can threaten her all you want, right? You're like, mom, I'm gonna call in on you, watch. <laughs> I'm not gonna make it. <laughs> Heck no, man. Abuse in our day was if you came out the house with no pulse. <laughs> and you, then your brother would walk up and say, man, you really made mama mad this time, didn't you? <laughs> yeah, but there's your mama pumping your chest. Get your butt up. Ain't nothing wrong with you. <laughs> Messing around and the paramedics are outside. <laughs> get up and get in that room. Go on back, Mr. Paramedic. He was just playing. Mm -hmm. Keevy, get out here and apologize to this man. I'm like, I'm sorry, Mr. Paramedic. I can make my heart stop sometimes. <laughs> hey, you want to go outside and play with me? <laughs> Enjoy your cruise, ladies and gentlemen. Keep it Rogers. Take care of yourselves. Keevy Rogers right there, ladies and gentlemen. You just saw him live on stage. He's good, isn't he? 
I told you you'd enjoy it. Very good, very good. All right, here we go. Let's talk a little bit about tomorrow, ladies and gentlemen. It's a full day at sea and a great opportunity for you to get to know the freedom of the seas. We've got some great activities coming your way in case you do want to get involved with some things. So, for example, 1.15 p.m. in the afternoon, poolside, deck number 11, a great daytime activity. The world's sexiest man competition is coming your way, so get ready for that one. Yeah, there you go. It's our formal night here on board. Photos with the captain taking place in the Royal Promenade at 7.30 p.m. In here at 8.30 and 10.30, our wonderful theater production showtime marquee with the Royal Caribbean singers and dancers and the Freedom of the Seas Orchestra and more. But all of this, of course, you can catch it on the morning show, channel number 14, or on your cruise compass. And tonight, depending on what you're in the mood for, the uh, Freedom of the Seas is wide awake and available for you. We've got some great music going on in the pub right there on deck number five on the Royal Promenade with Adam on the guitar. Schooner Bar with a little bit of piano, of course. Casino Royale on deck number four as soon as you exit the theater, walk right on up the stairs. You're going to find it right there. Live music in the Star Lounge if you want to do a little bit of dancing. And the nightclub, Oliver Twist, on deck number 14, is also open and available for you, yeah? But whatever you choose to do, ladies and gentlemen, remember to smile because you are now officially on vacation. My name is Patricio, your cruise director. See you out about everybody. Ciao, ciao. Welcome on board.